previously on Grand Theft Auto Vice City. After fulfilling Avery Carrington's requests, Tommy headed to Colonel Cortez's yacht. Colonel Cortez expressed his belief to Tommy that Gonzalez needed to be eliminated, as he considered Gonzalez the cause of their mutual problems. According to Colonel Cortez, he had been tolerating Gonzalez's incompetence for years, but it had reached a critical point. Furthermore, Colonel Cortez promised Tommy a reward and the recovery of his stolen money if he carried out this favor. He informed Tommy that Gonzalez could be found, probably half drunk, at the penthouse, and handed him an electric saw to carry out the deed. Tommy went to the specified location, despite Gonzalez's attempts to persuade him. With the promise of double the money Tommy was offered, Tommy proceeded to kill Gonzalez. After disposing of Gonzalez, Tommy returned to Colonel Cortez's yacht. It seemed that the Colonel lived nowhere else but on his boat. Colonel Cortez has expressed gratitude to Tommy for eliminating Gonzalez. However, due to the nature of his business, he suggested that Tommy should act as if he were mourning for Gonzalez. Tommy sarcastically commented, How does all this get me closer to my money? Colonel Cortez turned to Tommy and said, Be patient, Tommy. You're not in liberty now. He added that things worked differently here and mentioned a valuable deal he needed to complete involving a courier carrying a technologically valuable product. The courier engaged in a coded conversation with Tommy, who didn't fully grasp the message. Tommy told the courier that he was sent by Colonel Cortez and asked for the chips. Meanwhile, French-accented police officers raided the place, and the courier started to flee. Tommy chased and killed the courier, obtaining the chips. Tommy returned to Colonel Cortez's yacht, and Cortez asked for another favor. He informed Tommy that Diaz had asked him to oversee a small business transaction, and wanted Tommy to be involved to assist in this operation. Cortez left a special weapon for Tommy in the multi-story car park. Tommy considered the possibility that Diaz might be the key figure managing all these big bosses, and believed that being close to Diaz would provide valuable information. Information. As Tommy went to the multi-story car park to retrieve the specially prepared weapon, Lance Vance followed him. Tommy turned to Lance Vance and asked, Can you show me that you're good for something other than shadowing me everywhere? Lance accepted the offer. Tommy and Lance went to the location where Diaz would make the deal. They found a suitable place to secure Diaz and his men. During the deal, a conflict erupted, resulting in chaos. Meanwhile, a motorcycle rider seized Diaz's money and attempted to escape. Tommy pursued and retrieved the bag, bringing it back to Diaz. Diaz, relieved to be alive after the skirmish, thanked Tommy for saving him. It was evening, and Tommy's phone rang. The caller was Ricardo Diaz. Diaz expressed gratitude again for Tommy's vigilance, and revealed his desire to work with Tommy due to his frustration with the people around him. Diaz believed that working with someone like Tommy could make them both very wealthy. The payphone ringing by the side of the road caught Tommy's attention. The person on the other end said, Mr. Teal, your assistance in eliminating those coming from out of town has been invaluable for the business world. I have more work for you with a more hands-on approach. Your next assignment has been saved under the phone and then hung up. The caller had identified a pizza delivery person who needed to be eliminated before completing their delivery. Tommy carried out this task. And with that, we conclude Chapter 4 and move on to Chapter 5. Enjoy the story. Come on, baby, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Stupid <sighs> horse! I'll chop your head off! <sighs> who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse. You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up. Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. 
You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. Granddad, you better keep on running, asshole. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. What's they puzzling me? What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? You hate Vance Vance? Hey, I got enough of that in school. Vance Vance, poor bastard. Where the hell are we headed anyway? Ron Island. You ever buy one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way, though. Okay, we're almost there. We'll make a couple of paths. I'll take out as many guns as you can. Then I'll set you down, and you're on your way.
Not so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy... I want that boat! Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah. pigeons are back. Jack! Plastic crap! You doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Screw you! It is my favorite El Budo movie. It's died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here, okay?
Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap. But I know one day, I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition! So, Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal. So why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real fresh. They're coming on that jetty! Oh. Shooting, my friend. You're a real proper grade A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. <laughs>